we got another progress report. Uh, I've had a little bit of rain this week, but um, the rest of it has been sunny and it's starting to defrost the ground. So we've been working lots in the ground. Roy has been working lots in the ground, actually. So we'll let you know what we've been doing. Um, he's built a, a dry stone wall over there. Let me move. See my mug on there. Dry stone wall over there. This used to be three tiers, but we, he's levelled it all out with the digger made a little mound at the bottom. We're going to put all our vegetables in this area. I'll, I'll let him explain what he's doing in a second and what he's done. But he's put the posts up ready for the chickens. The new chicken pen's going to be around here. We've got to get some more mesh. I oh, can't wait. It's very exciting this time of year. In the um, greenhouse, I can always forget the name of that, <laughs> we've got lots of seedlings. And then we panicked because it started freezing at night time so Roy um, put plastic over them and hessian over them and some of the peas are coming up already so we're really excited. Right, here's Roy. <laughs> Me and my uh, lezan, uh, so, what's it called, lezan? Um, donkey, and donkey, a caca. Donkey poo poo. Donkey poo. Donkey poo poo, yes. With loads of worms. Actually, Hang on. loads of worms in them. Can you see the worms? See the worms, there's loads in there. Wow. So, worms in there, like. so what are you up to? Well, basically we're uh, <laughs> breed. Yeah, dug a dug a trench, easy with the digger. Uh, done the same in the polytunnel, and then lined it with uh, a chicken mesh, a small sort of whole chicken mesh, because we have problems with rats. Thanks to the hunters, um, that's uh, killing all the foxes that naturally kept the rats down. So the locals tell me. Um, you know, we have problems with the rats here, half our, our uh, potatoes uh, last year and uh, in our beetroot and everything else. So this is the prevention. We put the line underneath, fill it up with some donkey poo, put some uh, the soil back on. And then uh, we put a, uh, the plank round, like a board all the way around, and then a polytunnel over the top. Uh, you know, uh, we've got plastic archways go over the top and then plastic over the top. Uh, that helps it, the spuds and everything else to grow. We're well determined and not to keeps lose the rats out. If we have a problem with the rats coming through because they chew through the plastic, because that, that may be an issue, then we'll line the actual polytunnel itself with chicken mesh, uh, the soil back one. But we wait and see. We wait and see. So, yeah, we're ex excited uh, to try this new method out. Um, and another thing about it as well, what we're looking they love chemtrailing us around here these days. So we thought we had a couple plastic. of days off the other day, didn't we? Yes, yeah, yeah. We actually had like a Monday, didn't come to on a Monday. The skies are beautiful and blue, it's beautiful. And we thought, ah, perhaps we've gone the war against Russia. <laughs> and you know, need the planes for that, but um, obviously not. So here they are, you can hear them again above us, above the clouds, chemtrailing again. So, because they love us, you and know. And those lovely cotton wool pleat And clouds. above it, above it, they're chemtrailing. You could see in between the Anyway, chemtrails. never mind. We're never ignoring mind. that. Can you say what you've done in the polytunnel? Yeah, I've done basically the same. I had to do it by hand, because unfortunately, I don't, I don't know the problems we was going to have. I would have done it with a digger, but uh, of course, I had to dig it all by hand. So I dug a fur out and done that, meshed that, that put that and then moved it across. So eventually, I've got a, basically, uh, in a English, cage. English, please. A cage underground <laughs> of mesh right up to the sides, the uh, ground level of the polytunnel, and then on the doors, because we have to have the doors open in the um, summer because it gets too hot in there, I'm putting mesh doors. So then the doors, they, the inner doors will be shut, but at least the air can flow through. And all goes well, I keep rats at bay, and uh, we should, you know, bear some lovely fruit. Like, you know. We're making a lot of effort this year, and my lovely yes. husband's just done another oh, dry yeah, yeah. stone wall, just, just like that. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, just like that, yeah, great, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, just not like many that. people can just do that, Roy. Give no, no, yourself some good. credit. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. So, yeah, and we're going to have a path down here and down to the uh, greenhouse and then down. The posts are in now for the new chicken pen. Um, yeah. I'm putting an apron all the way around that because so, we had trouble with the fox coming in, killed all my chickens and my cockle. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's going to be probably electrified as well, as well as an apron all the way around uh, so the fox can't tunnel in there. And we're, only, have, we're having about six, aren't we? Yeah, only having six, yeah. Six will be plenty for that area. So, yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll have a lovely pen to run around in. We've got a mint Soon. area that's going to grow up in mint, so they have plenty of places to get out of the sun because it gets very hot here in the summer. And this place over here is going to be... Um, a, I always wanted a memorial area. We've got loads of cats buried in this little area here no, and a tree growing. Um, and now Roy's sort of redesigned the garden bit up here. We're going to use this bit here as like a little meditation 
contemplation space like nice this bit and this bit's going to be a memorial garden so you can sit and you can think of um, loved ones that have passed over and we can't bury any more animals here I'm afraid but what we can do is maybe cremate them or you can bring the ashes of and um, we can scatter them here which would be nice and this little tree that's growing we're going to allow people to put ribbons on there to remember their loved ones as well so I'm really excited about creating that. In the near future when we uh, buy the land next door yep. which is which is on the carriage yep. and the barn above us uh, we can then have a, a, a proper burial place in there as well because it's a lovely big ground. Yeah. Yes, we can't we can't wait to get in that one. But those uh, are potential. Yeah, yeah, future potential. So the problem is be. being patient, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> patient. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, being patient and uh, so yeah. that's most of what we've been up to at the moment, isn't it? I think. Yes. 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 Um, well, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, getting there. So, yeah. And our lovely big strawberry patch is going to be really established this year. We moved it last year, so yeah, we didn't get many, yeah, but didn't get we're going many. to have we loads this year. So Not many, because uh, the evil of uprooting them. Yeah. But now they're settled, so yeah, we should do really well with the strawberries. And the community garden we haven't started yet, because the sun has only just started going into that area, yeah. so the ground is still yeah, frozen. Yeah, nature garden. And the community is slightly slow at coming <laughs> and helping yeah, us. Really <laughs> we only have like two. We have two. No, we have a bigger community, they're just very busy. Yeah. Right, okay, um, I think that's problems. about it really, they have their own problems. Yeah, their own issues. <laughs> issues with a day's environment. Anyway, yeah, so that's what we're doing, so we'll um, let Fashion. Roy get back to this um, yes. and Time's caca. Money. Time's money. <laughs> Clock's ticking, I've got to go to work this afternoon. Uh, so, he's semi-retired. Yeah, I have to go to work this afternoon. For, bit uh, by bit. Yes, exactly. Yes. Bit by bit. Well, I have to go to market in a minute, so I've got to get this on. Done. Yeah, off to market. Off to market. Right, okay, I'll leave it there. Uh, we'll do another progress um, report soon. Okay. Yeah. Bye.